SMT Nation, what is going on? It is good to have you guys here for this video. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start our testing and coverage of Xfinity Mobile. For those of you that are not aware of what Xfinity Mobile is, it is an MVNO of Verizon. It is essentially a mobile network, uh, virtual mobile network operator uh, that piggybacks on the Verizon wireless network. They have access to all things Verizon. So that's their LTE network. There are 5G DSS, the nationwide 5G. They also have access to the 5G ultra wideband, which does include both the C band N77 as well as the millimeter wave technologies. Uh, the what would that be? N260 in most cases, 39 gigahertz. And then in some cases, they've got N261 as well, 28 gigahertz. And uh, I did some testing for you guys here on the millimeter wave. And all I really had to do is get some testing from the bakery and i'll show you guys here this is a just a picture of the street in the morning it was like i don't know about quarter to six about 6 a.m or something like that and we we're in between a uh, baking job and you know that's a picture i got on the pixel 6 pro really nice you guys see the sunrise uh so you know we're facing the east portion of the street here downtown is down this way behind me moving westward and it's this is Lorraine Road. This is a pretty busy street here. Uh, the millimeter wave node is actually back here behind this building. So it's like one block away. And when you're picking up the millimeter wave, you're pr like, so I'm testing like down here somewhere. Actually, you know, I don't know, probably about 100 feet back or so, 200 feet back. And um, it's bouncing off of these buildings. It's it, it bounces everywhere. You know, it's it's not line of sight. It's actually behind this building. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So you can see there's residential, there's homes down every one of these little side streets. There's businesses all along Lorraine Road. There's um, a lot of car lots. There's little grocery stores, convenience stores. There's a Salvation Army here on this side. Uh, down the street, there's little like boutique stores. There's restaurants and uh, temp agencies. There's bus stops everywhere. If you go down behind here, there's more restaurants. There's parks. Uh, there's a couple of shopping centers down further. So this is pretty much mixed development. Anyways, oh, and here's another picture I took with the Google Pixel 6 Pro, just showing the clouds there. Uh, then, you know, some of those apartments and stuff. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys here. Pretty nice. Uh, I don't do the fixed lighting feature. I'm going to have to try that later. Anyways, all right, first test I took for you guys here. You will see that it says Xfinity Mobile. All right, so what do you got here, all right? This is, you know, Comcast mobile networking. All right. This is on the millimeter wave. I do want to show some, uh, share something with you guys here. You see this icon, how it says 5g when you're connected to millimeter wave on Xfinity mobile, you're not going to see 5g UW. It's just going to say 5g. That's the way they've got it provisioned and programmed. All right. So that's just something you want to look out for. If you're on C band or millimeter wave N 77 or N 260 or 261, whatever, it's going to just say 5G. All right, so DSS, the same. It all is going to have the same icon. All right, so first test here, 2.8 gigabits per second. That's right, 2,832 megabits per second downlink. You'll see 140 megabits per second uplink. Millimeter wave, a tremendous technology, absolutely incredible capacity, really the only foolproof way to create channels that can support massive usage, including home internet which we do have Verizon home internet at the bakery business internet. So yeah, it's, it's been great. Uh, 20 millisecond ping and we got four millisecond jitter on this test. All right. You will see that at the bottom for the networking, it will say, you know, it's connected to like a server and in this case, Verizon live in Ohio. So there you go. All right, let's look at another test. Uh, I think that was the final test from the first one. Yeah. Okay. So there's your final test. Okay. And Here's another test that I took right after it. This one, not as fast. Uh, there is some variance to the millimeter wave. It is very finicky. All right, this test, I got 2,663 meg down and 60 megabit up. 25 millisecond ping, 4 millisecond jitter. It's, it's pretty fast. I, I will tell you guys. I mean, considering we're not line of sight, I know a lot of people are still kind of stuck in that old frame of mind that you need line of sight with millimeter wave. It is definitely not true. Not at all. Not only am I not line of sight, I'm obviously a full block away and non-line of sight. So 
the signals are just ricocheting off all these buildings and finding their way to these phones. All right. Here's uh, that test, I think, as it's finishing, maybe. Oh, no, this is another test I took uh, with the phone on the table. All right, so 2,800 megabits per second down, 40 on the up, 24 ping, 2 millisecond jitter. Again, I'm not line of sight. I'm a block away. I know. Horrible. <laughs> All right, and then this next test, uh, I think this is the finished test, actually. Is it? Oh, no, it's another test I ran. Okay, so... 2.8 gigs per second on the down, 119 on the up, 19 millisecond ping, 5 millisecond jitter. I'm telling you guys, this millimeter wave stuff is the truth. All right, now what I did here is instead of being up against the building where the table is, I stood closer to the sidewalk right on the edge. And you'll see that the signal propagation, it's better, and the downlink shows it. All right, 29 ping, 1 millisecond jitter. 3,191 megabits per second down, and it looks like about 51 megabits on the up. It really is an incredible channel. Millimeter Wave is an incredible technology. I mean, if you, if you get the opportunity to use this connection, if, it, if like, say, for example, the Verizon 5G Home comes to your market and they put Millimeter Wave nodes on your street and or they put it by your apartment complex or your condo, you got to try it. Because this is how a phone picks it up. This is how a phone performs. You got to think that with, you know, say, for example, like, um, you know, a dedicated gateway that goes up against the window, the signal is going to be more resilient because the antennas are stronger, right? The radio technology is much better on those devices. Right? You, they're bigger. They can fit more uh, heavy duty gear and more capable gear. Uh, but don't get me wrong. This is nothing. <clears throat> excuse me. This is nothing to sneeze at. All right, so 3.2 gigs per second on the down and 83 megabits on the up. And then here's that test kind of finishing up here. 29 ping, 1 millisecond jitter. Uh, really awesome testing. Uh, this is, again, right in front of the bakery, one block away, non-line of sight. Makes no difference. It's an incredible capacity layer. And, uh, you know, Xfinity Mobile gets access to it, right? Comcast Mobile Networking. So this is going to be kind of like one video I'm going to do. With regards to the Xfinity Mobile, I'm going to do more testing for you guys. I've got a, a filmed video that I got to edit. I'll upload it and I'll post it here to the channel. So you get some video footage of me testing within this area instead of the still photos. I know, I know you guys like, you know, video and stuff like that. So we'll definitely do that. And there's a video platform, so why not? And I'll be doing more testing. I'm going to test it on C-band, the N77. I'm going to test it on DSS, regular low band 5G. I'll test it on LT. I'll test it on CBRS. We're giving it the full go. I've been using it for about a month. So far, so good. It is a pretty good experience. I've only had a couple little hiccups when otherwise my Verizon postpaid proper wouldn't. So there's a couple things I want to work through and a couple things I want to test, some upload stuff, some other things. But uh, yeah, that's my first video. And if you guys appreciated this content, let me know by doing a couple of things. First of all, like this video. Second of all, share this video. And third, comment down below and engage with the content. Oh, and if it's your first time here, subscribe for more videos like this. And uh, turn on that bell notifications icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. Thank you for watching. Check out the links in the description. My Gmail address for all business inquiries. Also, my Patreon page if you want to get early access to videos and exclusive content not found anywhere else. And my Twitter handle is there as well. Thank you for watching. See you all in the next video. Peace.